Hey everybody, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm just gonna do a real quick general reading, not zodiac sign specific. Um, I just finished the um, live for the zodiac signs and I'm gonna post those in a little while. Um, but I just felt like there was somebody out there who needed me to pull a general reading. So I'm just gonna do it real quick like. Uh, let's just say a quick blessing and we'll just get started. I don't know who it's for or what it's about, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. And we ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to receive them. Amen. Um, we're going to use this artist inner vision tarot. I don't know what's going on. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> Hold on. Big old bunch. Hold on. Too many. There we go. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. There's somebody here who's tired of waiting. I just saw 111 on the clock. Um, this is someone who feels like they're ready to get going. They're ready to get started. They don't want to wait any longer. Temperance in the reverse. That's the card of Sagittarius. You may be a Sagittarius. This other person may be a Sagittarius. Um, we're also in Sagittarius season, but when I have temperance in the reverse, this is someone who is saying, my life is not right. Um, I'm not happy with where I am. I don't like what I'm doing every day. I'm not liking what I'm seeing every day in myself. This is someone who's looking at their daily habits. They're looking at their routines. They're seeing um, that there is no peace. There's no balance, not in the way that they want to see. Um, this is someone who's saying, I need to go on a diet. I need to clean up um, what I'm eating and drinking. I need to look at my my health. I need to look at, I need to be getting more rest. Something, something is a little off balance for this person and they, they're recognizing this and they don't want to wait any longer to make these changes. They want to make some changes quickly because they see a need for change. I have the high priestess that comes out. That's the card of Pisces. Um, this is someone you Sagittarius Pisces energy has been like super closely linked for about three years now. And I don't know if it's these two signs that are going through a lot of transitions and changes or if they're just working simultaneously. I don't know. I'm not an astrologer, kids. Um, there are some very talented astrologers out there online. So just check it out if you are so inclined. But um, this high priestess energy is someone who has been ignoring their intuitive size. There's someone who has been ignoring all of these red flags for a long time. It seems like um, you've had a lot of energies stack up in your life, if this is your reading, um, that are starting to come to the forefront. You're starting to look in the mirror every day and say, I don't like this, I don't like that, I wanna see a change, and I wanna see a change right now. Um, and this is someone who is typically highly intuitive, someone who's highly psychically gifted. Um, you may be someone who experiences a lot of um, psychic intuition through your dreams. You may have a telepathic communication um, with another person, something there is an energy of um, wanting to get something going, wanting to make a change, wanting to make a transition, and not wanting to wait any longer. I have the page of swords on its side. Um, there's someone watching someone from a distance here. There's someone, I the, so the page of swords, when they come out in the reverse, they're, it, for a modern day tarot reader, that's gonna indicate online stalking. And it's not necessarily in a malicious way. It's someone who doesn't feel like they can communicate their true feelings, and so therefore they're just gonna watch from a distance. They're not gonna take action. They're just gonna wait and just um, kind of, kind of stalk somebody, like somebody's social media pages, somebody's channels, whatever it is that you do. Um, and I don't know if this is you or if this is the other person in your environment. So you take it as you will, but it feels like somebody who wants to say something, they've known they've wanted to say it for a long time. They know that it, like, mm, let me just, a little bit more. A 
hold on. I gotta clarify with another deck. I'm gonna get this vice versa tarot out. I have the Knight of Swords on the top. This is uh, this feels like it's taking a turn, um, and it's gonna be a love reading all of a sudden. It feels like there's somebody who has had their heart and their mind set on you for some time or you have on this other person. Somebody doesn't wanna wait any longer. They're tired of what their life looks like without you in it. Page of Wands, underneath the page, underneath the Knight of Cups. Oh, this is somebody who wants to reach out with a message of flirtation, curiosity, or interest. And this is somebody who's recognizing that by sending this message, it may make some major changes. This person, you may have seen them. The last time you may have seen them was during Libra season. Just incidentally, this person's been blocked in communication from you. I've got the High Priestess out again. Um, this is somebody who is recognizing that everything that they've been feeling, everything they've been thinking is 100% true. And this person is, um, there's a lot of clarity coming in for this person or you. And it feels like somebody is on the cusp of hitting a send button. And what they, what they want to communicate is some, it's, there's a lot of sexual passion here. There's a lot of sexual community, like, um, it could be telepathic, um, I like magnetism in some way. Um, this high priestess energy is someone again, Pisces. That's the second time out for the high priestess, right? And you know, I love it when you give me the repeat cards because that tells me these are the important energies for you. This is a psychic connection. Ten of Pentacles. This person may have recently purchased a new home. You may have recently purchased a new home. Um, this is a windfall of money coming towards someone. This is an energy of stability coming towards someone. This person is feeling like they have no stability without you in their lives, or they want to create this with you. This could be someone who, ah, let's just keep looking. I just want all the cards to, to be there. Let's see, three of swords that comes out. This is someone that you've either ended a relationship with or they have recently ended a relationship or you've recently ended a relationship. This three of swords is the breakup card, right? I always call it the Ben and Jerry's card of the deck, right? Comes for everybody at some point. It is an energy of an ending. It is an energy of um, heartache, grief, and pain, right? That has healed. It's slowly healing. It feels like this person has recently ended a relationship and they're wanting to reach out towards someone else, probably you. And... could be somebody you work with. Ace of Swords. This person has waited to share their truth until they were ready. This person has been waiting to be honest with you about feelings until they were ready. They may have been in a previous commitment. They may have been with someone else for a while. They have been waiting for this opportunity. So the Eight of Swords um, is all about um, restricted communication. I always think of it as Scarlett O'Hara, like, I won't think about it today, I'll think about it tomorrow, and I will communicate tomorrow, and I will brush it under the rug until tomorrow. This person is done, they're, they're out of tomorrows. And it feels like there's a new opportunity for communication coming in for this person simply because they have ended something else. And there's an honesty that's coming in, there's a truth that's coming in and there is communication that's coming in with that Ace of Swords. This person's going to message you in the daytime. This person may be watching you um, while they're at work. This person may be um, composing an email, text message, d direct message, whatever, while they are at work. This, um, oh snap, look at all that. Um, I've got the death card here and I've got the four of wands here. The death card is the card of Scorpio, but this is somebody who has experienced an ending and because of that ending, they are now ready for a new beginning. Yep. Do you see after every ending, a new day dawns, right? Yep. This person's been through it. They want to talk to you about it. Uh, this four of wands is that twin flame 1111 awakening card. This is somebody who is ready to communicate. This feels very heavy divine masculine energy, although I don't have that out here yet. It just has that feeling about it. 
um, excuse me, um, this may have been somebody that you had given up hope on. Um, and this uh, Eight of Wands comes in um, that's fast moving direct communication. This is someone who is communicating um, information to you under duress. This person may be reaching out to you to tell you everything that they've been through recently. This person is um, probably going to message you in the daytime. But it has been a tumultuous time that they have been through. And when they message you, it could cause some shock waves to your system as well. I think that you have been anticipating this communication or vice versa, but it's taken a really long time to get here with this Knight of Pentacles energy, but we've got the Wheel of Fortune card here and there it is. That's what I'm, this is what I was looking for here because all of a sudden I have Divine Feminine energy here, which is this um, Empress energy, right? And I just saw 1111 on the clock. Um, and so this tells me that we're on the right pathway here. We're on the right path because I've got divine feminine energy and that twin flame 1111 card. Plus I've got this wheel of fortune, which is the card of Sagittarius, right? Which is the time where I'm right now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I have got quite a cold. Um, but there is a lot of communication that's about to happen for someone. It's going to be surprising yes um things are changing this person's been through a lot and they feel like they are not going to be at rest they are not going to be at peace until they reach out to you they've been dishonest um, in the past about their feelings for you um this is a reciprocal relationship this is like equal give and take on both sides you want this relationship as much as they do you want this communication as much as they do um, this is very magnetic. Um, somebody is um, thinking about you. You're thinking about them. You may be having dreams about this person. At the very least, you're having, um, and it is a lot, um, a lot of telepathic communication, especially during this new moon time. We've had these eclipses. It's changed a lot of things. This person, you've waited for them for a long time, and they've waited to be a part of your life for a long time, and they have not been honest about their feelings for you. I don't know why that would be the case. They've been through a recent, well, I mean, there it is. That's why they haven't. They've been with somebody else this whole time, but they've been watching you from a distance. Um, they're going to come in with a message of honesty, clarity about this ending, whatever it's been. I don't know that this is, this is what starts this union process off is just this one conversation. There's a real independence to um, whoever the feminine is in this re relationship here with this Empress energy and this Queen of Cups energy in the reverse. Queen of Cups energy in the reverse, as you can see, carved on the back of this person's throne. There's the um, Heron. Heron is a sign of independence. This Empress energy is someone who's highly independent. This person who's coming towards you, they know that they have to be honest with you because you're going to be able to see through every single thing that they, and any kind of curveball they try to throw at you, it's, it's, unless it's honest, it's not going to be well received. You're too bright. You're too psychically developed with that high priestess out there in the middle two times. Um, you're going to know the truth from this person. This person knows that. This person knows that they can only be honest with you. Um, this person um, has the intention to create a partnership with you. Um, there's been a third party involved in this for a while. Um, it feels like that relationship or situation has ended in some way with that three of swords. I'm telling you there's a shift and it's happening. It's happening soon. All right. That was your reading. I will catch up with you guys soon. I hope you are well.